Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the door boot seal in your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a number two square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws at the back, securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Next, unthread the screws, securing the control panel to the support bracket. Pull out the dispenser drawer and depress the button to fully release it. You can now remove the remaining screws, securing the control panel assembly. Lift the assembly up to detach and disconnect the user interface wire connector. Use a flathead screwdriver to help open the main control cover, then disconnect the door latch wire harness. Open the washer door and use needle nose pliers to help remove the outer boot seal retainer. Now remove the boot seal from the lip of the front panel. Lift and support the washer so you can unthread the bottom front panel mounting screws. Remove the support and unthread the top front panel mounting screws. Lift the panel up and out. Remove the light from the boot seal. Cut the zip tie securing the hose connector. And pull the connector free of the boot. Pull the bottom of the boot seal forward and push down to release the inner boot seal retainer spring. Fully remove the old boot seal. You're now ready to install the new door boot seal. Keeping the ports at the top, position the lip of the new seal behind the outer drum rim. Once the seal is fully positioned, reinstall the inner boot retainer spring to secure. You can use a strong spring clamp to help hold the retainer spring in place as you install it. We recommend using eye protection during this step. With the seal secured, insert the light into the appropriate port. Apply some dish soap to the hose connector to make it easier to insert the connector into the port. Secure the connector with a zip tie. Reinstall the front panel by aligning it on the mounting pins. Replace the mounting screws on top. Mm -hmm. 
Lift and support the washer to replace the bottom mounting screws. Now align the new boot seal on the lip of the front panel. Secure the boot to the panel with the outer boot retainer. Reconnect the door latch wire harness and close the main control cover. Reinstall the control panel assembly by first reconnecting the user interface wire connector. Realign the panel on the support bracket and rethread all of the mounting screws. Replace the dispenser drawer. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.